Hello, my name is Sarah Simon and I'm the Mint Gardener. It's such an honor to be here today with you and with Blick telling you a little bit about my life. I'm an artist in the Pacific Northwest in the Seattle area, so you're getting glimpses of my garden and the gloomy days which I enjoy so much because it just gives me more time to paint. But today we are here to kind of talk about some of my absolute favorite colors to mix up. And it all starts with this blush color. It is a color you see on my Instagram and obviously in my art over and over. And these tones and tints and shades of blush repeat themselves in my books, in my art, and in my daily life. So it is so exciting to be able to show you how I mix these up. And it is quite simple actually for you to go ahead and do it at home. Um, I want to show you, so really all you need today to follow along with me are three colors. This is the Titanium White, it's Windsor Newton Watercolor, uh, Alizarin Crimson, and Yellow Ochre. All right, so just these three colors. Uh, it's not an exact science. Remember, this is art, so I want you to feel the freedom to grab a few paint brushes. This is a round one and a round four. I've got a jar of water and a few pieces of paper, and I wanted to show you how by altering the different amounts of each color in your recipe, you will be able to make all four of these different colors. Yes, they are the same three paint colors I use, just in different ratio amounts. You'll be able to see just with small tweaks in the amount of colors within your mixture that you're creating, you can really change the outcome of your overall recipe. So here I'm showing you my new book, Watercolor Workbook, and with just that top line of colors, you can make all of these recipes. And Watercolor Workbook is really special because the pages are made of watercolor paper, so it's an encouragement to paint right inside the book. So here's a little dab of white, yellow ochre, and alizarin crimson, and we're going to start mixing up these different color recipes. Now, like I said, all the recipes are made of these three colors, but by just altering the amount of each color within the mixture, you're able to get a really wide variety of colors. All right, so the first thing we do is make up my magic sauce, like I like to say. It's about 80% water, 20% paint. And if you're familiar with my work, you know my fun sayings of, it's like soy sauce with a touch of wasabi. I love using food analogies, and that really applies to what we're doing today too. It's kind of like make it, mixing up a recipe with different seasonings, different flavors, and by just altering one ever so slightly, you can really affect your recipes. All right, so I'm mixing together those 80% water, 20% uh, paint puddles, all right? So you can see I've used water to draw color away and I've created kind of this mixture. Now that first mixture in my book is what I like to call seashell. All right. Now remember I said it's not an exact science, but in my book I like to share kind of the percentage ratios of each of the amounts of each paint inside the recipe just so you can start to see the different alterations. So seashells about 70% white, 20% yellow ochre and 10% alizarin crimson. All right, now we're gonna adjust our recipe ever so slightly and take this same combination of three paints over to more of a blush color. Now this blush is one I use all the time. As you could see in kind of some of my art that I shared in the beginning, and if you visit my Instagram over at The Mint Gardener, um, and when you see all of my work on my featured art page with Blick, you can see that I use this color all the time. It's very comparable to uh, Winsor Newton's uh, Pale Rose Blush, which is one of my favorite colors. But I love that at home, I have the ability, just like you, to mix up whatever color I want with just very basic, very basic adjustments. So that is blush. 
And in my book, I say it's about 50% titanium white, 30% yellow ochre, and 20% alizarin crimson. Okay, so we're going to take these three colors like you're seeing me do, and I just added a touch more of that alizarin crimson, and that takes us to rose. All right, now again, same three colors, but the percentages is about 10% white, 40% yellow ochre, and 50% alizarin crimson. And you can see we went from this nice pale blush to a more robust and toned blush. And now we went to a rose that has that pinky uh, kind of really nice little touch of red. Um, and then this last one is one of my favorites. It's called Sunrise. Again, same three colors, but this one's a lot heavier in the yellow ochre. So about 10% titanium white, 80% yellow ochre, and about 10% alizarin crimson. So you can take these very bold colors straight out of the tube and really tone them down and make such an amazing amount of recipes, okay? So in my book, what you'll find is we mix all of these recipes up, all these different things, and then I show you how to take those recipes and use them to create these beautiful pieces that are already pre-drawn on watercolor paper ready for you. So you can see blush is included and alizarin crimson, rose, sunrise, among others. But because the alizarin crimson is included in the blush recipe the combination of those three paints plus using the analogous base it makes an amazing recipe in the composition of your entire piece when you're choosing analogous colors like these blushes but then also using those tube paints like the alizarin crimson the yellow ochre when you use those in your piece as you create and you use them all together they're like best friends at a party. They work well together. They display well together. It is lovely to view and to take in. So there's a few tips on color recipe mixing. I hope you'll let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. And I truly can't wait to see if you mix up these beautiful color recipes and to see what you're able to create from such easy, beautiful paints.